Mega. Oh my god! This is the new car. Welcome back to another episode of Road Driveway. Um, hopefully you can hear me. I don't know how well it is. I really shouldn't be videoing and driving. But as you may or may not know, I'm not in the Foz, cause to put it simply, I uh, crashed it. Yeah, it's kind of unfortunate in terms of events. Um, if you stick around a bit, you'll be able to see the car. If you go on the Instagram page, you'll be able to see it. But um, right now, I'm off to Nathan's house, AKA Woke WRX, um, AKA Low Slow Foz. He used to have a Foz and it's sitting in his backyard all parted out and he said come take parts off it so that is what i'm going to do now and i'm going to put this camera down before i hurt someone and crash another car but before i do that i just want to give a huge thank you to cameron um he's been on a couple of our episodes he's on the white gf8 subaru wagon um i'm borrowing his car this commodore to get me around places, which helps a lot. I appreciate it. I don't have a zoom function on the GoPro. Rip. Let's just hold it close and take wide angle. Super wide angle. I'll just, I'll sprint at the car. That's my <laughs> zoom in. All right, right, nice. Um, so, this is what I need. This bit, this bit and this middle bit for now i haven't stripped my car so i don't know exactly i'm pretty sure that's it from just looking at it but um yeah i won't find out properly till the rest of it's off but um big thanks to knife for helping me out here this was low slow foz once upon a time Nafe's just taking bits and pieces off at the moment. Um, I forgot a lot of stuff at home, like a hammer and chisel to get those off. And what else did I forget? I forgot what I forgot. The broom. There was something else. Um, I'm also on the GoPro, that's why it looks different. Don't know how good or bad or better or worse it's gonna be. That's why I would have done. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know what the bolt was for. I think it comes off there. Oh, really? It's bolted on. Oh, I didn't know. I thought it was welded on. That helps a lot then. I can just change it. Um, I didn't even bring my fucking impact gun. Oh my god, that helps so much. I thought it was welded on. Fuck, that saves my arms. Me. Hasn't gone anywhere. Thumbnail. Rest in peace, slow, slow falls. Are you sure? No, I'm okay. Are you sure? Do I want to see what it used to look like? Back in the day. Oh, damn. That was this. Once upon a time. Watch me blunt my fucking drill bits in like two seconds. Yeah, perfect. I'm covered in fucking mozzie bites, but I think they're all drilled. 
But, oh, I still got to drill them out. Fuck, I'm dumb. I'll make them bigger. And I've snapped like two drill bits and blunt and one. Oh, so much for cheap drill bits, am I right? <laughs> This is what we needed. It came off. Um, thank you very much to Nathan and Los Lofos for the donation. Not really a donation, but the party up. But um, yeah, that's enough for today. I'll be back tomorrow on starting my car, or tonight, depends if I get energy. Um, and we start pulling apart my car, but we'll see you on the flip side, back at home. All right, next day. Um, I went to go pick up some stuff, some more broken parts, very broken parts. Um, STI, Forrester, front bar, rear bar, needs repairing. Got them cheap, Nathan's here again. Um, so yeah, this is the car. Kink in the bonnet. Broken headlight. Bonnet doesn't open. Um, this is bent, that's bent, see, see, radiator's broken, oh, I need a new belt, forgot about that, I've got one in the car, um, it's touching the engine, which, that sucks, but, I'm gonna change it, but first thing, all of it needs to come off, headlights, radiator needs to come out, and bits and pieces, so let's get to work. Front bars off, headlights are out. As you can see, this is damaged. Um, this headlight pan panel is a bit damaged. This one is a little bit, but um, I can't get the radiator out with this like that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull this, give this a yank, pull it back, so I can get the radiator out. But my red bull can, where is it? She's been through some fucking hard times. But as you can see, that's what happened to the radiator. It bent it and popped it out socket and there's some more damage there. Um, there's a little bit of damage on the headlight panel which I can straight up. Um, for example, here, a little bit here. Um, before I do that, I'm going to put the new like filler panel, whatever you want to call it, on, see if that lines up nicely. Because if not, we might have to pull these out of touch and in case they've come in. Yeah, man, lines up fucking perfect. Fuck yeah! Get this radiator out. You know how they come out, fucking hoses, shit. Uh, had to unbolt the guards, 
to get to these corner ones, but that's fine. Uh, now we can start drilling it off. So you remember all the ones that are across the top, like 20 of them. And these ones down the bottom too. Alright, we've got the thing off. Um, what we're gonna do now is straighten up any bits like that and um, clean up all of this where I need a weld, get it to bare metal like um, all the paint, get all the paint off to where I need a weld um, just prep it up and same on this one behind prep it all up just so it sticks nice and on the other side too so I'm going to get the wire wheel and go to town on it All prepped up, like so. And same with those ones. Before I go ahead and weld this, I'm gonna put some weld through primer or zinc spray so no rusty boys come through here. Um, I did buy this, hopefully this works. Zinc rich spray. Pretty sure this is the right shit. So I'm just gonna go ahead and like mask up what I can just so I don't get this shit everywhere. We've got that all set up. We tried to measure it with the bonnet, but the bonnet is bent. So we're just gonna go try our best. It's kind of not the right way to go about this, but it is what it is. We're just gonna weld it in place. Got that in set got most of it in place and we'll just start welding uh, I really hope I don't burn anything in the engine bay like this rag but um let's try it and not damage anything well um, unfortunately the camera died but it's all welded in they haven't been grinded down yet so next step get the grinder out Give them a nice little lick with the grinder, clean them up. Should I put bog over them? I don't know. I've probably been picky now, yeah. All nice and grinded, it's the best I could get with the big ass five inch angle grinder. So I'm just gonna go around, scuff it up with some 80 grit and chuck a bit of bog over there just to pretty it up a touch and obviously sand it back. And then we can get to work on sanding all this paint off. Same with this one. And I might as well do these bits while I'm here because for some reason there's black on them. I don't know why. So, um. Some more sanding fun ah uh, day three i think it is um got some masking film i don't know when this um video is going to come out but pun intended the corona has been treated um great joke haha <laughs> funny but last night it got dark ah. and but last night I went around and sanded all the bog. Make it look nice and pretty once it gets painted. I couldn't do much about like the ones that I couldn't get to. And like those ones, I couldn't even get a grinder in there. Same with these bottom ones. But you don't really see those headlights and shit are in the way. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna clean this fucking bog out of the threads for starters and go over it with like 240 or 360, 400, whatever I've got. Clean it up, get it ready for paint. Mask it up, primer it, rub that back. 
or scotchy it back and then paint it. Huh. So um, let's get that bread, yes steel. There's a bit of wind, but I'll sand it down and scotch it. So I did this and underneath, um, in here, all there, obviously down there in the bottom, uh, behind here, a little bit in there. Oh, there's some primer there, whoops. And here, obviously. So I'm just gonna mask up as best as I can. Like, mask up along here, get all that out of here, mask all this bottom bit up, all this back bit, all that, all that, all that, all that, all that, all that. You'll see what I mean later once I'm done, but this shit's taking fucking forever, man. Oh, man, we're finally up to the point of painting. All masked up. Well, I kind of half-assed it, but most of it's done. Um, but yeah, just gonna go get the primer. Um, I've already had enough of doing this. Can someone come do it for me? Because I need food. Fuck, it's fucked. All right, so rip that other can didn't work at all. I think it's clogged. So I found this other one, but it's a fucking terrible brand, I think. I don't know. I might like find out. Oh, there's so much shit in it. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. There's fucking dust everywhere. But oh well. It is what it is. Probably should have um, got rid of most of the scratches too out of the bog, but fuck it. I just want to get done. Get the car back on the road. Start driving it again. First coat. Look at Mickey, let that tack off, we'll throw on the second coat. Kinda excited with this colour match paint now. She's coming together. What rad support change? Don't know what you're talking about. Mind the music in the background, it's just um, motivational, you know? And um, yeah, I've got some sparkles in there, rip, but should be right. Left a couple runs, but they're in the shit spots, not really worried about them. But yeah, should be nice. I'm using some clear on it too. Probably don't need to, but I'm gonna make it look pretty. But fucking, that color match paint did all right, man. I ain't even mad at all about that paint. I ain't even mad about the dust, how good the paint came out. It's better than it was before, man. Honestly, except for this bit. I don't know what the fuck's going on there. I won't stick to it. I might put some a little bit more paint on that. All clear coated. Um, that's probably gonna be it for this episode, bro. Driveway, just because I gotta wait for this to dry. But in the next episode, I'll unmask it all and I'll show you what it looks like. Um and we can put everything back on, including the front bar. We just gotta wait for a radiator. I gotta get a radiator. Um, and we can start on the rear, which is easy, but I'll record it anyway. So, till then, don't crush your Forester.